So anyway, uh, the last group we have for you tonight is uh, a bunch of really great friends of mine, um, and I love them. Ad liberation, everybody. <laughs> It's time for the last show of the night. So thank you so much for staying. Um, we are Ad Liberation. And firstly, thanks for staying this long. Yeah, seriously. Want to clap for him? Yeah! yeah. Uh, so we are a long form improv troupe here in West Lafayette and Lafayette. Uh, and I handed out some paddles to some of you in the audience. Uh, can you hold those up? Perfect. Woo. So the way this is going to work is you each have a power. And we encourage you to pass this power around as the show goes on. And whenever you shout out what's on the paddle, you, we will have to do what is on that paddle. So for example, you have show me that. So if you were to yell, show me that, whatever we're doing, you're going to have to, sh we're gonna have to cut to whatever like, if we're alluding to, so like, a childhood dog, or a pet, or an a accident. childhood dog, or a pet. <laughs> and the next panel <laughs> is right there, inner monologue. So if I'm talking, um, you'd yell inner monologue, and whatever I'm thinking or my character's thinking, we're going to have to step forward, take it out of the scene, and give that inner monologue. Uh, and then the last one is Oscar winning moment. And that one is if we are doing a scene and we are <coughs> almost to the point of like emotion, but you want us to get deeper. You want us to be more emotional. You want us to win that Oscar. You'll shout that and we'll have to get really emotional. We'll have to dig deep. Maybe the pet or the dog that we were talking about. It would Whoa. be interesting. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Now, like I said, please pass those around because it will give everybody a chance and it'll make the show that much more fun. So, to start us off, can we get a suggestion of something that you would find in like the back of your closet? Maybe not something that you want everybody to see. I can't. From this side. What is that? the middle. Outside. <laughs> Uh, my cat. Cat. I heard a cat. His cat specifically. So, okay, when I was a child, we had this uh, dumb, dumb cat. It stared at plug sockets. And we couldn't, we couldn't, we were wondering, like, maybe it was trying to figure out how a plug socket works, which would be a smart cat, or if it's just like, uh, too soon for that. <laughs> Okay, Oscar winning moment, you want an Oscar winning moment? Okay, that cat, that cat ate a whole bunch of the yarn that I left out on my floor for a school project. It ate yarn, and its insides got tied up with yarn, and we had to put it to sleep. <laughs> Comedy show! Okay, so since I was like five years old, I've had really, really, really bad allergies. Like I wake up in the morning and I sneeze 30 times before I get my first breath, which is really, really awesome for everybody who happens to be around. Uh, but, so dust, uh, mold, seasonal allergies, but cats are the absolute flippin' worst. So anytime that I go over to my grandma's, who has like 15 cats, it's absolutely miserable to me, and I feel so bad because I love her so much, but I get up there and I'm like, man, Grandma, I really love you so much. I don't want to be here anymore. So I don't, I don't see her very often. <laughs> okay, so um, my grandparents are kind of crazy, and um, they had this cat that died when I was 14. I'm 24 now, so it's been about 10 years. But you go into their house, and you see their house is just covered in cat stuff. They have a book that says how to massage your cat. <laughs> They've got cat rugs. They've got an entire cat. I can't even tell you how many things are in that room. She's got earrings with pictures of cat that she wears. And they have, um, if you look on their wall, they've got 8 by 10s of all the grandkids and their kids and all these family stuff. Right in the middle is a 
big eight by ten of their cat that died ten years ago. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom! Yes, sweetie. Uh, uh, when I got home from school, you weren't home, and I was so hungry. And I, I went to the closet <laughs> because I was hungry. <laughs> and I ate all the yarn. Show me that! <laughs> Go back. <laughs> yes, sweetie, I know, I saw. I was I was only gone for five minutes. Well, it hurts so bad. Oh, all it is is pain. It's not. It's, uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Honey, you're home. I'm almost, I almost have it figured out. <laughs> you okay. know, I was hoping. There's two long ones and then a, a circle. <laughs> I was hoping that we'd already gone over this enough, Jerry. You stay away from the sockets. You don't look at this. You don't look at the sockets. I think if maybe I unscrewed it, I could figure it no, out. No, 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 you don't need to figure anything out. It works. It works by itself. If it doesn't work, we call an electrician. Well, but that's, that's a waste of... <laughs> it's a socket. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you invite your weird friends over? It's a well, socket! You I just want to socialize! <laughs> Oh, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Abby, I think this has gone too far. Oscar winning moment. <laughs> your obsession with your turtle, it's tearing us apart. Show me that. But I've, I've had it my whole life. <laughs> 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 Yarn today. Little socket? Really? My only hope! 
god! Yeah. God! Oh, we still that sounds got, terrible! We still got Brewster and oh. Chester. Feisty was my favorite. He understood me. He called! <laughs> no one else calls. Show me that! <laughs> of you to visit no. after calling me. <laughs> um, Helen, I'm not sure how to tell you this. God damn it. I'm living a double life. <laughs> I've got another family with a kid who eats too much yarn and a woman. Show me that. <laughs> Really again? <laughs> So uh, the actual, that story about my cat is a true story, um, and we didn't know that it was because he ate the yarn until the vet called. We left the cat at the vet, and the vet calls, and I answer the phone. I was the one who answers the phone, and the vet says, yeah, so we did an x-ray, and the cat, it looks like it ate a bunch of yarn, and it tangled up its inside. I'm like, oh my, and I told the vet, I'm like, oh my god, I left all that yarn on my floor for that project for school. And the, the vet said, did I say yarn? It was cancer. Your cat had cancer. <laughs> uh, you're, you're fine. It wasn't... <laughs> Mom, did you see all that cancer I left out? I was doing a project <laughs> for school and I had all the cancer out on my desk. It was right here. I'm the desk. Next to my ink blotter. <laughs> Is it possible the desk ate it? <laughs> the desk is talking. Yeah, I know. That's normal. Oh, that's normal within the reality of what we're doing? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Feisty's gone. What will I write my letters on now? <laughs> Maybe one of your other devil creatures. Feisty had a strong enough back for a desk. Maybe you can find one and throw them away. How will I send the condolences to the Hendersons? What happened to the Hendersons? They died! Show them that! Sixty. I was just wondering if maybe you could take me back. See, because Spicy found a turtle to love. <laughs> Show me that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. Huh? Have a seat. Tonight. All right. Um, I don't know how to tell you this. I think I know what you're gonna say. Your mom has cancer. Not what I thought. <laughs> um, and I don't want you to think it's that one was a curveball, Dad. <laughs> Son, I don't think you're listening. You're making your little, your, your mom is Reverse. sick. You're, I don't think you're listening. Forward. You're, I don't think you're listening. You, you, your mom, she's sick. I hate it when the phone rings. Yes, doctor? <laughs> yeah, <hi>. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, when I was a kid, we moved to uh, Clayton, Indiana. You know, it was a uh, oh, small God, town. Oh God! No, don't do that. Doesn't matter. So we moved to this house, and a dog came with the house. Uh, <laughs> oh, is this the new house? Hey, a dog! Go back. So anyway, <laughs> so this dog came with the house, and his name was Bandit. That's not important, but it was a huge dog, and it's kind of a dangerous dog. So it wasn't trained. It was just chained up to this like shed in the backyard. And every time we walked out to it, it would jump on us. Well, one day, I came home from school, and Bandit was gone. My parents had called the vet, or the pound, or whatever does it. And they came and picked the dog up, and I was like, it's gone? And I was like crying a little bit, and I hugged my mom, and I released, and I said, can I go play Sega? 
So you see this house is fully furnished. Uh, uh, electricity is through Duke. And that's Steve, my cousin. He comes with the house. Whoa, what? Yeah, he'll stay in his corner, though. Don't mind him. Wait, no, can we go back? I, I mean, Go back. Comes... <laughs> go back. <laughs> what happened? So anyway, uh... <laughs> after I, uh, reverse, I said, so anyway, um, you know, go back. <laughs> He'll stay in his corner. Can we, can we go back to that? My cousin Steve, he comes with the house. You get electricity through Duke, it's fully furnished. Oh, I think you're going to like this. Forward. I really think you're gonna like fully furnished electricity is through Duke. Uh, that's Steve, he's my cousin, he comes with the house. Wait, what? Steve. <laughs> I know my name's Steve. <laughs> this is milk. <laughs> that's. Therefore, that's a refrigerator. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me over. Yeah. I can't wait to see your hair. Wow. You have a lot of stuff about road building. What kind of a passion of mine? This whole room is <laughs> filled with stuff about building roads. <laughs> is that a framed 8.5 by 11 glossy of asphalt curing? It no. is. Oh. I am <laughs> both utterly disgusted and Slightly turned on by this. <laughs> Help! She trapped me in here! Oh. I'm what's powering it! It runs on people. Get me out! Get the hammer! Don't just stare, you... I think there's a guy in there. I think he needs to help. You know, they can't hear me. He's they, asking. I right. think he's saying something. Wait, one of them speaks my language. I like his wallpaper. His, his mouth is moving. Do you think he's asking for something? Can someone... Does this come in aquamarine? <laughs> I'm in so much pain. Aww. All there is to eat back here is yarn and cancer. Oh, <laughs> Oscar <laughs> moment. <laughs> but aren't we all trapped? <laughs> within walls, within worlds, within our own imagination. When we look in the mirror every day, don't we see a prison cell? Not one made of metal bars, but one made of beliefs. <laughs> Aren't we all, in some ways, trapped behind an electrical outlet where only one person can hear us and forced to eat nothing <laughs> but yarn? And cancer. Thanks for joining us on Double Date, Spicy. Success. Uh, we have an ad liberation. Uh, this is Taylor, Matt, Katie, Mike, uh, Rachel, Mona, Will, and Shanna. I know I'm supposed to say something else, so this was the website stuff.
You can check out our website at liberation.net. And all of the groups will be online. All of the, oh, this whole show is being recorded, so it'll be online. You can check it out later. Hi, Mom. Um, <laughs> Taylor's mom is back there, apparently. You can say, I don't know. No, on the internet. <laughs> on the internet, she'll be there. Uh, you can check her out later, too, online. Uh, sorry, one of the. It would be great. It would be great. Go home.